So for today, I'm excited to announce that I'm getting to play with something that I've been interested in for a long time, and that is offline video generation. So I have this GitHub library here that I found thanks to a Reddit post called OpenSora. So this is the first sample generation. It's at 240p and it's four seconds long, which is what the 3090 Ti is capable of doing and any other 24 gigabyte card, it seems. And I just kind of took that from the site here. So now what I'm gonna do, because I will like to put some more screen recordings into my video, is I'll just kind of show some sample generations that I've been able to get and things of that sort. And if I try to run OBS while this generation is running, I run out of video memory. So I'll just do this and then I'll screen record the results. I'm just sequentially going through some of the examples that were given on that demonstration website that I found for the 3090. So as we first saw in this video, I did the city time lapse and I'll do the museum, the magical girl transformation and the fight scene. And then uh, <laughs> maybe we'll try some borderline NSFW generations and see what happens. All right, so we can see that it has finished recording here and it will save it as this. So I'll open here and whoa, that is extremely, extremely trippy. Wow, that's, sorry, I'm like kind of captivated by this. Very interesting. So pretty cool. I like it. Obviously you could knock this and be like, hey, it looks like crap. And my rebuttal to that will be, yeah, you're right. However, this is just the beginning on old gen GPUs and with no special work done on my end or anything like that. So I would say that's rather impressive from a optimistic future looking person. Okay, so now I gotta stop this recording and then I will try the next one, which is the magic girl transformation. You can just see the magic girl transformation. Whoa. That's uh, once again trippy and kind of cool. Okay, the fight scene has been generated. We're back to the screen recording. Interesting. Oh, oh, okay. I saw a human at the end, which is what I was kind of waiting for when watching this. Very cool. Let it run through one more time just to parse it and take it in. Interesting. So now I also just would like to show you the one of the transformations since I did not show that in a screen recording fashion. So overall, pretty interesting. I did save another thing here. I don't know. This is just the city. Okay, yes, good. So that's kind of what we get from the demonstration prompts that I lifted from that website, but now I do believe that it would be pertinent and in the scope of my channel to come up with perhaps some more uh, obscure things. So a naughty robot about to get a quote punishment. We'll see if it can allow quotes in the prompt from its robot master seductive NSFW vibes, 8K realistic. All right, so just, you know, just kind of had that one come off the dome and we're gonna run it now. Oh, I have to stop the screen recording because uh, it won't actually generate. And then we'll, <laughs> we'll see what happens here. So you just saw me left off uh, typing that wonderful prompt and I'm extremely proud of myself for having come up with on the fly. All right, it's done. Let's see what we've got. Oh, um. <laughs> I mean, okay, so here's the thing. I think it's pretty cool in terms of like the changes of the robot's head on the fly and stuff like that. This I would find to be a very decent result. It's just not quite what I expected when I wrote that prompt. So that's why I initially hesitated a bit in responding to what I'm seeing here. But this is actually pretty darn cool. I'm going to come up with another prompt. All right, so I ran my next prompt. I suppose I can just delete all these. 
So I, I meant to write um, a subway riding a bicycle. I, I misspelled that, you know, just to try to confuse it with something that wouldn't quite make sense. So I accidentally wrote an SBBW riding a bike. We'll, uh, we'll see what it... Oh, okay, so not bad. Oh, <laughs> at the end there, it was like about to take off. <laughs> it's very interesting. I'm going to think of something else. All right, I'm not gonna show the prompt for this. I'm just gonna open it and we'll see ya. <laughs> so, it, it slightly adhered to the prompt. Uh, interesting. <laughs> also concerning. So I've generated one more and once again, probably best not to show the prompt. So I will potentially just blur this out if it did. Yep, okay, it did. <laughs> what the? This is, uh, 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 <laughs> okay. The final thing I wanted to do with this was test how it would do with a more cartoon style generation and perhaps it would do better in something that's not supposed to be as photorealistic as the ones I had been doing. So I had GPT come up with a detailed prompt, which is essentially just a lo-fi, cozy, cartoonish music video and it added animated musical notes floating around. Now it came up with this, which is simple in that there's really not a lot of movement, but you can see that the animated musical notes and things like that are moving around. It almost looks like this is some sort of like, this looks to me like a record player. I know it doesn't, but, and it seems to be like shooting the sound out. The only other thing I'll say is this reminds me so much of that Disney video that has uh, Rhapsody in blue over it. I think it's Fantasia 2000, but I'm not sure. So, yeah, pretty cool overall. And So real quick, I just wanted to show this as I thought it may be of interest to some of us. This individual is a research scientist in ML at Apple and they have submitted a feature request for this repository to support the Apple Silicon machines. And the big benefit of that would be the unified memory setup would allow for, in some of the top spec configurations, an extremely large, large amount of video memory accessible to this. So if we scroll down here, we can see that, okay, here's some higher quality generations and things of that sort, and there's a table here that talks about the testing that they found. And this was on an 80 gigabyte video memory H100 GPU, which I think is somewhere between thirty and $40,000 to buy currently. So say you wanted a 16 second long 720p video, on that GPU it would use up 67 gigabytes of video memory and the generation time would be 547 seconds. Now, in something like the top spec Mac Studio currently, which has 192 gigabytes of total system unified memory, I do believe that it can use like around 160 or 170 gigabytes of that for video memory, but don't quote me on that. So even if the 547 seconds was going to take a lot longer on the Mac Studio, it would still hypothetically be able to do this. You might just be waiting a little while, but that would be awesome and something very, very interesting and um, tempting. <laughs>